I think it's just the teams that I work with a lot, we just try and define what we mean by child-led learning. I think that's a really good place to start because it's a phrase that we use a lot, child-centered learning, child-led learning. But sometimes when you sit down and say, okay, can you articulate what is child-led learning? Yeah. And then say, right, well, if that's what we think it is and why do we think that, whose other work are we looking at in research? But then also on our day-to-day -day practice, how child-led is our learning? And often in schools, nurseries, reception particularly, you'll find it's not very child-led because it tends to be topic-based and activity-based. Mm. So the adult is deciding on the focus and then it's often an adult input followed by a focused activity, followed by another adult input by another focused activity and sometimes some play, in inverted commas, in the afternoon, which is almost the antithesis of child-led learning where you'd be saying, you know, these are the next steps for our children. Um, let's try and wrap those next steps in the thing that motivates those children most which is going to be play and also their interests. Yeah. So whilst it can appear to be a very free approach to child-led learning, it's actually quite rigorous because you know what's coming next. You just try and wrap that next step in the thing that's going to motivate the child the most.